Hi guys, we are going to begin a new section on the channel which is mixed media tips. In fact, I did one video before about how to incorporate focal points in, in your art journal, so I thought it would be interest just quick tips about mixed media or art journaling. So today I want to show you how you can bind uh, separate sheets because it's my way of working. I prefer to work in individual sheets more than in an art journal because I make a lot of mark making and mixed media stuff so for me it's more useful to to use uh, separate sheets. So I have tons and tons of, of sheets <laughs> um, and then I wanted to find a binding for these sheets and I didn't know how to do it so I made a research in YouTube and I saw different techniques so I am trying to to experiment with my own technique so I am using the 3D gloss medium uh, and you know that is my favorite uh, medium to use as a glue and I am putting all together all the sheets and put the glue and um, I think it's the most important point of the work to put very very well the sheets because if not they can be separated so it's very important I think it's the key point on this technique so take your time and put all the sheets together in a nice way. So now I am putting different things just to um, press the sheets. And I did it for about 40 minutes. And then I decided to go ahead and do a second layer of the glue. So I am doing this second layer. <laughs> So I let the sheets dry for about one hour more and put the books and then as you can see it works. Mm, the, the sheets are glued together except for for example this one, the first one, but it doesn't matter because I am going to make like a three layer to, co to glue the cover with the sheets. So as you can see this cover is reused, is the one that um, goes with the paper block for drawing and I just make a collage on the cover and make my own cover with my own draws and work. And we are going to glue the sheets with the cover as I said and let it dry for about I think over all the night would be nice I was waiting for one hour more but I think it's better to put it overnight <laughs> wanted a binding just to uh, put my art journals on, in my studio. I don't think this binding is for everyday use. I mean if you want to make um, 
an everyday art journal and work on it. I just um, <laughs> and I glue it down in reverse, but <laughs> yeah, well, I'm like that. Um, I don't think it it could be a good binding for an everyday use, as I said. Uh, if you want that type of binding, I suggest you another types of book binding, perhaps a sewing or another type of glue. This is just uh, to organize my separate sheets and to put on my studio and just to uh, see my journal some, some days, but not for using and draw over it. <laughs> As you can see it worked and I'm happy with the result. Perhaps there are some sheets that are not uh, very glued because of the position. That's what I said. It's very important the, the starting position of the sheets but you can fix it with washi tape or transparent tape and you can do it in all the sheets if you want to reinforce more but I think it worked. So uh, then, as I said before, I reused the cover and it was not very strong, so I decided to reinforce the, the spine of the cover with a tape. In fact, this is a tape that I bought in a drugstore um, and it's very strong. Uh, you have the same type, especially for book binding, and you can find it, but it's more expensive. So I think with this one, it's more than enough. And well, that's it for today. I hope you like it. I wait for your comments. If you like it, just give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, you can also subscribe to my channel and follow me in my social media. So see you next time. Bye.